Imagine an endless winter. This winter back here in New Zealand is my 15th winter in a row. Seven continuous years of snow. Why choose skiing? It's kind of cliche to say, but skiing almost chose me. Free skiing is a sport that attracts athletes of the extreme for a lifestyle of the extreme, and this year, this kid from Wanaka is at its peak. Jossie's just the Kiwi boy from New Zealand who's gone out there and, and done it. Dad said to me, somebody has to be the best, Jossie. Why can't it be you? And those words changed my life. Jossie Wells lives in a world of white. He's been on skis since he could barely walk and now at just 20 years old, his commitment to the cold is paying off big time. He's this year's AFP overall world champ, has thousands of fans and is sponsored by some of the biggest names in the business. His life is travelling the world, chasing the snow, keeping up an endless winter. You're living the dream really, aren't you? I am living the dream, yes. What's it like when you're in the middle of a half pipe like this with crowds and crowds of people screaming? For me, as soon as I drop in, as soon as my skis touch the wall, everything seems to go blank. I don't think, I don't hear anything, I just go and everything just happens. And then I land my last hit and I switch back into reality and all the crowds screaming and stuff. And that's definitely my favourite part about what I do is being able to get into that zone and get that feeling. It's pretty amazing. It's amazing, all right. And get this. His little brother does it too. Everyone's always thought about, oh yeah, Byron's just Josie Wells' younger brother, but uh, I think the last couple of years I'm starting to step out of that, so hopefully I can continue and start making my own path. Yes, Byron Wells is 18 and is now also considered among the world's best. This year in Europe was the first time that Byron's beat me in a major contest. Uh, How did that feel? Not too amazing, as you can imagine. Um, if you're a competitive person, you get beaten by your little brother. <laughs> it doesn't feel very great. Um, but I mean, I think at the end of the day, if anyone's going to beat me and be up there, I'd rather it be Byron than anybody else. Front four, over the down. Yep, go. A what? Yep, front four. Front four, what? Yep. Four off. Flat, pop, four, over the rail, stomp. I'll go back four. Okay, back four then. Go. Hang around Kadrona long enough, look up, and you'll see another one. There are four Wells brothers, all of them skiers. Not your fault the time. It was your heart on the line. No, don't sing. This is really... on camera. Yeah, it's great, you know, living in little old Wanaka, starting to grow. Nice. Old brothers, sweet, friends. Twelve-year-old Jackson's the youngest, and Bo James here is 14. Hey, what have you done to yourself? I'm asking because I have broken my collarbone a few days ago. Yeah, Bo is one of the more talented people that I've ever met. Um, the talent that's inside him just trips me out sometimes. Bo James is ridiculous at skiing. He's definitely going to be better than Jossie or I. But uh, Jackson, you can't really overlook him either. He's going to be crazy at free skiing, plus ridiculous at racing. He's so fast, beats everyone by seconds now. Still pretty scary to commit for all those big jumps and stuff. It's pretty, still pretty scary. Yeah. How do you get over that? Commit. This family has attracted its fair share of attention over the years. But this year, their star is really on the rise, thanks in part to this bloke. Jossie's had the best, best season of his life, and we've got it all here and ready to share with people, which is pretty rad. Tim Pierce 
Joss has been round the world with Jossie making an online TV series. Finished off with second half pipe. We got the Duke up. About to go get some medals right now. Woo! This offshore action footage you're seeing is all his. This pretty amazing family, this talented little family from Wanaka that's somehow taking on the world of skiing. It's, it's pretty cool. There'll be thousands of fans that turn up to these comps just to see Jossie and Byron. Look how buttery smooth Jossie Wells is. Let him hear you ask him. This level is no walk in the snow park. Training is intense and constant. The older boys are in the gym every day. The younger boys on the tramp. That's after a full day skiing. But when you come up here, it's not hard to see what keeps them coming back. I mean, check out that view. Kind of sometimes you've got to stop and kind of got to look at it again and go, wow, I do live in a beautiful place, you know, and get to see some amazing things. They let us come up here and lap the pipe before anyone else gets up here. Um, it's pretty cool because we both do both disciplines, um, so it's cool to be able to get up here early, get the pipe training done and get more laps than we would in a normal day, and then we can go and ski the rest of the mountain. Even though it's negative five degrees and yes, <laughs> seven I mean, in the morning. That's just part of it. You've got to rug up. It's pretty cold. I like cold. I'm not a big fan of the cold. How's Byron's form looking? He's doing alright. He's not hurt, which is the, the thing. <laughs> which is a start, <laughs> exactly. yeah. Exactly. I've broken my ankle twice, my left wrist twice, my right wrist once, three of my ribs off my spine, my jaw shattered my collarbone into six pieces, my back twice, my wrist th three times, my collarbone twice, I've dislocated and fractured my elbow, and that's just the broken ones. In the time between organising to shoot this story and actually shooting it, Jossie broke his ankle, Bo James broke his collarbone, and as we started filming, a wayward skier took out Jackson. You good? You good? What is it? Shoulder. Your shoulder. And next, when I ask you if it's a dangerous sport, you're going to say no. It's calculated risk. It's a calculated risk. It's dangerous, but it's calculated. We definitely, like, you know, we've definitely thought about what we're about to do and if we can do it, you know. It's not like we're going out and just throwing ourselves and hucking it and hoping it's going to go well. Injury is a big part of what we do. That's kind of just comes with the game. I mean, there's only so high you can throw your body in the air and land down on the ground before it uh, starts to break. And uh, mentally as well, um, I mean, the competitive scene, going to the contest every week and stuff, it's an emotional roller coaster. You win a contest and you feel on top of the world and you lose a contest and it makes you never want to compete again. But that feeling of success is, you know, you can't beat that and that's what that's what keeps me coming back. So I've suggested maybe they should stay at home and play tiddlywinks. <laughs> Might be safer. <laughs> be careful out there, look after each other. Judging by our archives, Stacey Wells has had a few years now to get used to the idea. They're passionate about what they do. Uh, they always have been since they've been little boys and they're really just, just doing something that they love to do. And who doesn't want to see their kids doing something that they love to do? The matriarch of the family she refers to as wells.com, she homeschools all the boys. The angle's on a straight line. What are they equal to? 180. Okay, good. It must be hard to pull them off the mountain sometimes <laughs> and get them to hit the books, I imagine. Oh yeah, I'm pretty staunch being a school teacher though. <laughs> yeah. How much schooling do you get done? Oh, uh, yeah, like four hours a day, you know, somewhere around that. Just do it at night after skiing. The boys grew up talented, it seems, at everything they touched. They were competitive swimmers, musicians, skateboarders, but they've chosen a rich man's sport. So there's been plenty of sacrifices made, financially and emotionally. The younger boys are away from home for three or four months a year. Josie and Byron away for six. We don't come from a wealthy family. Um, we had to make huge sacrifices uh, growing up. And uh, my parents are the ones that had to sacrifice the most um, to, you know, let us follow our dreams um, and they've always been so into that and I can't thank them enough for, for what they've done for me, it's just crazy. I'm absolutely 
gobsmacked at watching him ski. You know, the X Games in, in Aspen this year was just, a, it was a pipe lesson to anybody. You know, and looking at the footage after it in slow motion and just see him landing so high on that wall and just accelerating right across the flat and back up the other wall and and, and this trick that was probably, you know, one after another, as perfect as, as you could possibly humanly do it, was just amazing to see. I was at Top Gun. Wow, man, so cool. Dear Dad, Bruce works on the ski field at Cadrona and is on the road with the boys during the northern winter. Okay, again, let's initiate this spin with our knees coming up, but let's keep our legs together. He is their coach, ski technician, mentor, and number one fan. At the end of the year when the results finally came out and he was the AFP world champion, it was like, yes, you know, it was, it was awesome. Definitely having Dad there has helped so much over the years. And you pay him well, of course. Oh, pay him generously with my love. <laughs> generously. <laughs> your ultimate dream? What's your grand wish? Uh, my grand wish would to get Olympic gold medal. Yeah. Ultimate dream is to win the Olympics. Um, I could imagine that's what Jossie told you as well. Free ski half pipe does have a good chance of being included at the next Olympics, so there could well be three Wells brothers on the podium. First, second and third. In four years time, Let's bring some medals back for New Zealand. Imagine that, an endless winter, finishing with a flush of gold. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do after skiing. Um, I still have a few more years to decide that, but I have come to the conclusion that skiing is what I do, it's not what I am. So if skiing was taken away, I'm still going to try to find something else that I can uh, strive towards and try to be successful at. The best thing, I'm living the dream that I grew up with, you know, like every night I'd go to sleep thinking about competing at the X Games, being in ski movies and having all the sponsors and getting paid to travel the world and do what I love doing and right now I'm doing that so it's, that's probably definitely the best part. Yes, it's hard work, yes, it's cold, but it's a beautiful life. Feeling how my body is now and Going down the track, I think I'm going to be a pretty sore old man. Um, but I'm going to have some good stories.